All right, Virgos, what's happening? What's going on, my dudes and duets? Are you guys having a wonderful day so far? I hope you guys are. I am super pumped about this reading. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna get a two-one special, and honestly, you guys are gonna get it because I feel like um, so. There's a reason why things happen um, when they do, and it all goes back to um, what's going on in our lives. And um, because I became more spiritual and I'm more in tune with myself and about my worth and about, you know, the more spiritual side of me, I'm starting to learn about certain things. Um, you know, I sense things more clearly now. Um, I'm very in tune now with people's emotions. I'm very in tune with how they feel, what's going on. Um, and sometimes, like, it scares me sometimes, certain things. But um, there's a, there, this is a phrase that's been following me throughout my life. Things always happen for a reason. And Virgo, yes, Virgo, my dudes and dudettes, there's a reason why I haven't done your reading until now. There is a reason um, besides me overloading my life, you know, um, trying to get myself a little bit more centered because I've been a little bit off lately. But this is another reason too. That's not the only reason. The other reason is is that I do readings based on what my what I'm feeling or what's going on. And I think you and Scorpio are the only two that I haven't done for them this month for October. But there's a reason why. And I'm here to tell you the reason. There's a lot of synocracies coming in between Virgos and um and Scorpios. And maybe you might be dealing with the Scorpio. A Scorpio. And that's why I like, um, I don't know why the reason is. Um, so I'm going to do your reading and I'm also do Scorpio's reading. Um, maybe there might be some connection between you two. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but there's gonna, there's a lot of syn synocracies coming in. Like, this is the time. This is the moment. This is the place um, after the Libra, after the retrograde. So I'm actually gonna read something to you guys. I do a lot of research. I, I do my own research when it comes to certain things. I ask my guides, my spirits. I get all the. I try to get as much information I can to help everyone out as best as I can. So let me give me a second. I want to read something to you. So, so Virgo. Okay, Virgos may not hear much auspicious news during the end of a retrograde. This one month of the sun's tour in Libra will bring unnecessary adventures for people of the six zodiac sign. Even at the work front, there will be unnecessary tension and stress. This could dis uh, decrease your Productivity. Do not lose your calm as it will delay the matter further. Concerning health, stay away from junk food. Eat more wholesome food, nutritious foods. When traveling, take care of your belongings as they are the chance of losing something valuable. And honestly, that really hits home for, for me. But it also it explains why I took a while for you to do this reading. Is because I feel like during this retrograde, you are going through it, going through it, going through the motions, going through um, the excitement, um, the turns and turns, the frustration, a lot of emotional baggage. Um, but I feel like you're letting it go now for this new, um, this new, you know, this new phase in Libra. You know. You're really, you're, you're stepping it up. And, <laughs> oh yes, I am back, baby. Syncing up is the passion card. So you're really trying to explore, um, learning to let go of things that don't control, you know, what's really hurting you the most. I think um, this is the most card they want me to um, focus on right now is passion. I feel like you're trying to find your passion again um, because you're not dealing with something. And then it could be what I was just saying earlier. I don't do things. I don't say things because I want to. 
or do. I say it because somewhere along the line, someone, something, the spirits, you know, maybe your guardian angel, someone wants you to hear that. And I, I choose my words very carefully because, um, you know, it's not about the ratings, the views. It's about what you need to hear for yourself, to, for growth and for prosperity, you know. And right now you're not dealing. So this could be telling me that you're not dealing with somebody or someone's not dealing with you. Um, let me try to connect to your energy, Virgo. So I'm just letting you know because two for the price of one <laughs> as a joke. But reality, I'm giving you an October reading. So this could have already happened for you in October and it's going to lead into November. So you're actually getting two readings in one video. Ain't that exciting for you? I know I'm excited. All right, spirits, angels, um, my guardians, God, universe. Let me know what, um, let me connect to the energies of all the Virgos that I'm connected to right now. Um, let this message be um, spiritual. Let them, gu let them guide them where they need to go. And the heart, mind, body, and soul. Um, yeah, it's about finding that balance within yourself. And the fact that, um, <laughs> I tell you. I'm connect, bro. I, I'm telling you right now, I am spiritually connected. If you do not believe me, I'll show you right now. This is your energy, um, Virgos. Two of Pentacles, equilibrium. You're trying to find balance. And uh, this is also the King of Cups. It's a water sign. Water sign. Emphasis on the water sign. What's a water sign? Scorpio. So. I'm not lying to you. I don't say things because I need to say it. It's because that's what I, I'm being told just so. I, sometimes I may not understand why I'm saying certain things. It's because it's what is telling me to tell you. I just want to let you know that. So you got the, the balancing card, which I was already sensing earlier. Um, and honestly, I told I read you a passage on um, what's going to happen after the retrograde. And that's what's happening. You're, really, you're literally stepping out of this retrograde, trying to center yourself, trying to find balance. Um... And you have a lot of emotional emotional baggage. Not really baggage. I feel like you're having emotional spillage because I feel like you are finally getting a breakthrough. Um, regarding an individual, maybe regarding yourself. I try to keep this general as I can um, because, you know what I'm saying, like, unless, you, unless I'm actually doing reading, unless you touch my cards or I'm actually connecting directly to your energy, then that's what's going to come out. But... These are general love readings or general messages um, for anyone that is in the sign of Virgo. Um, remember, moon, sun, rising is very important. Um, if any of the messages don't relate, you know, it's okay. It's just as a message. Like, don't shoot the messenger. <clears throat> but what I'm getting is, is that I feel like you're trying to find your balance. You're trying to find your center. Um, you're also trying to get in touch with your emotions. This could be telling me that you're really trying to, um, um, you're really heavily meditating. Um, you might need some time to meditate because um, sometimes um, there's things that we can't control. That's the one thing I, I realized, you know, through life is, is that we can only control. The only thing we have control of is our decisions, our life. You have no power over, you have no dominion over anyone else's, any living soul, okay? So, you're really trying to focus on trying to center yourself. Um, you're trying to balance yourself out, you know, after this retrograde that's torn you apart between two people or two situations or choosing, your, either choosing yourself or choosing um, to deal with somebody that, you know, maybe is not the best person in your life. That, that, that's all the cards. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting different messages for different people. So, like I said, the, these are very, like, when I say things, is because it's whatever I'm sensing. And I'm trying to connect to everyone. At least everyone that's on my YouTube. If you, if none of the readings are matching you, there's one way to solve this. There's a button right below. Like this video. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps me intuit with your energy. That's as easy as it be. Not asking for money, nothing. All I ask is a simple like of the video or subscribe to my channel and let you know 
There's a little bell on the screen. It's notifications. Let's you know whenever I post things. And I only post things um, regarding tarot readings and also um, my future projects for film. Film products? Be interested in. Um, not trying to sell anything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel like you are also walking away or somebody walked away from you and now you're trying to find, so this can also tell me that, um, somebody is angry. Somebody's angry. I don't know if it's your if it's the person you're, that's on your mind, or maybe it's your you're angry at yourself for letting yourself get to this place. Either way, um, it's it's a good um, when things don't go well in your life, you have to learn how to adjust, change, also heal from it, and also set up some boundaries. But I feel like somebody is also trying to avoid a conversation or a certain individual. And it could be a water sign. It really can. <clears throat> but because this is a king card, uh, most of the time it's usually whenever you get kings, um, they're more reliable than a knight or a page. Page is just, they're thinking about it like, eh, oh, okay, whatever. A knight, sometimes they come in, sometimes not. The only reliable knight um, is a knight of pentacles because at least they're really thinking things through. Because a freaking knight of freaking swords, <laughs> nah, it ain't happening. So the seven of cups came out in reverse. So this could be what's, what's the blockage for you is, is that... Um, I don't think you are letting opportunities come to you. I, and that's what I think they want me to tell you is that you're avoiding things because you feel like you're stuck. Eight of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Um, there's a blockage coming from your energy. Um, you know, not really examining the opportunities that are coming to you. And I see a lot of potential coming to you, especially towards November. That's what I'm going to get to. So this is basically probably, this is what I'm feeling for the month of October for you guys. I'm going to try to differentiate it. Like I said, this is supposed to be a two for one special. And that's, and the funny thing is the two right here. It's the first card that came out. So um, I really feel like you are also focusing on healing yourself because I feel like you also have a lot of deep love for somebody. But you're not sure if this is the right person for you. You're not sure if this person's not your soulmate. Um, you could have had a fallen out with somebody. And maybe that's... And that's what I'm getting to also a fallout. Could be from a friend. What? Before I even shuffle, I'm going to make sure I ask the question correctly. All right. Spirits, let me know. The heart space of this of uh, Virgo. Let's see what the heart space is for Virgo. What is Virgo's heart space? Ooh, damn, this card just like slipped out. So yeah, look, look. I'm not joking with you. There's 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 a semblance coming in. That's your heart space. Seven of Wands. You <clears throat> you have yourself in such high regard after the whole situation, and you're tired of um, you know, giving you know, offering your cup to people. And they're not, either they, you know, overuse it or they never give back. And that's the thing too with the, with these cards is like, damn, I wonder who, who hurt you? <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but I'm, I'm seriously asking you a question. Who hurt you, Virgo? <laughs> Who made you question your more your morality or your you know what I'm saying? Because I like because oh. that's what I'm really getting from you guys, Virgo. Is that like I feel like you're not like you feel like everyone keeps on like no one's really giving you the full cup, and that's why um 
you are keeping your high, you're keeping yourself in the high ground. You know, you're keeping yourself up in this high horse because no one's really tried to show you that you matter or you are like the best thing in their life. Because normally with the Seven of Cups been upright, it's about um, confusion, but you're not confused because you know what you want. And even though like your life may not be, so you can also be suffering some financial losses in October or set some set. Okay, I won't say it's maybe for a few of you guys, financial losses, um, but mostly I feel like um, they're more like, um, not financial losses. Oh, wow, I can't think right now. <laughs> My brain is like, no. Nah. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> it doesn't want to say. And that's the thing is, is that that's how stressed out you are. It's that you're not really thinking about it. And, oh, wow, I got this, and that's what it is. Because, you know, seven is my lucky number. So seven actually is an energetic alignment with the universe. It's letting you know that blessings, miracles, good luck, happiness, abundance, and great opportunities. This is a sign that your dream might be coming true. So you might be setting up some boundaries with people or, you know, putting some boundaries for what you're worth. Or what you're what you want in your life you know and that's always good to set up boundaries um what you want like i mean like if you really if you really want to shoot for the stars you got to work hard towards it and that's what it is that's letting me know so you might in october you might be experiencing some financial setbacks but you know what it's okay because these setbacks are going to also keep you grounded and keep yourself um moving forward like there's no confusion on what direction you're going. You know what direction you're going because you know your worth. And you're trying to you're trying to find your the the path that's going to lead you to this high vibration. And because you're choosing to do that in the after this whole retrograde in the month of October, it's going to lead into some great opportunities, good news coming because I didn't tell you before when I looked at the bottom of the deck before I shuffled it, it was the 8 of wands. And that's a lot of good news. So Yes, yes. Oh, and by the way, if you're cross watching, <laughs> you got somebody watching you from afar. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You got a stalker. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's not a stalker. Maybe this is the person that, um, this person has a lot of love for you for the fact that. So the page of swords, it's about um, offering a truth or investigating. So you could be also investigating about this individual and seeing what they're doing. But honestly, I'm really sensing it more for your, the person that's on your mind. Because I feel like this person sees you as their, like as a, um, the best way to describe this is like someone that, um, gets them someone that completes them like a soulmate um you know somebody that understands who they are because you got also the knight of swords that's coming back because they're look they're waiting for their ships to come in so you know what let's get into this person's energy and then i'm gonna try to go um okay. let's connect to this i'm gonna get three cards for this person's energy So this person is very um, dissatisfied with what's going on with the situation, this connection. They're really dissatisfied with it. Um, because this card came out sideways, um, it's like they're at that point whether they want to fix this or not. Um, but they are sad um, because I feel like they... <sighs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, this person is trying to decide whether they want to make this work or not. Because they find, like, like I'm telling you, this is the, this is the weird thing is, is I'm already sensing all this stuff, like, before the cards come out. And the fact that the cards come out, whatever I'm saying earlier, kind of tells you that this reading is pretty accurate to the key. 
because the star came out in the bottom of the deck. This person views you as a wish fulfillment and look what came after it. What is this? The seven of pentacles. So I'm telling you that there's no need to worry in the month of October. Um, like I said, this is a late reading for you guys. So now we're going to get into the November part. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all these cards away and see what's going to happen afterwards. Or you know what? I'll keep it out there. But this person's willing to fight for this because they really do want to initiate a new beginning with you. I really do because I feel there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion. And that's what the funny thing is, the cards right there. Look, these cards come out and watch. I can show you at the back of the cards. Look, Ascension. You see it live. Live. You see it. Ascension. My dudes and dudettes. Ascension. So I'm going to take these cards away and we're going to get to the to the month because this actually connects that's why i'm not doing this one it's mostly these cards oh okay oh okay okay this is extra message this is extra message i know what the card is but um spirits let's connect to the their energy what's going to happen in the month of october i mean no, november it's the situation because it's a continuation one i feel at least for this situation i don't know so remember, do not plug things that don't matter for you. I really think, think if you really do want change in your life, and the most important thing you can do for yourself is self-love. That is the most important thing. Self-love, people. We have to love ourselves. <laughs> I can't stress it enough, man. Like, you know, money doesn't money may provide, but self-love will get you so much far. And when you handle things with love, secrets come out. So regarding this person, I feel like they're really trying. This person has a lot of things to say. They do. Um, they do want to let you know because it's an upright. If it was in reverse, this person does not has a lot doesn't has a lot to say to you, but isn't sure if they're ready to talk to you. But the moon and up upright, it means that this person has a lot of things that that they have to say to you. Like there's a lot of things that they need to. Um, to tell you, you know, and they really do. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Watch this. Okay, this is when the cards gonna come out because guess what? Am the magician, <laughs> magician, <laughs> dudes and duets. You know what that means. So this person, and that's the funny part is I knew what this card was and you didn't know, and that's why this makes sense to this reading. Makes sense to this reading. Um, manifesting, this person is trying to manifest at least a conversation with you. They really do. They have a lot to say to you. Um, they really don't want this to, they, they, they don't want to let this go. They know this work. Because look, I, I can't speak, look at this, love. This is the second, look, I'm not joking. There's a lot of synchronicity coming here. So you could be seeing a lot of double numbers um, two, two, two could be an important number. Seven, seven, seven. I feel like you are transcending. You are choosing. You have chosen yourself. You're choosing to work on you. And guess what? It's going to bring you a lot of blessing, a lot of abundance, and there's going to be a lot of opportunities for growth. And if you really do want this person back, which I think you do, because it wouldn't be coming in this reading and I wouldn't be sensing it. And you wouldn't be watching it if you didn't want this person back. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say that. Let's just throw it all out. <laughs> so, the magician. I love being... You know, the funny part is the magician is a Gemini card. That's right. I didn't even know that. It's my sign. Oh, Gemini. Yes. And the lover's card, too. So, you can also be dealing with the Gemini. Who knows? Or you may have some love for a Gemini. Um, but honestly, I'm not sensing a new person. At least for some people. And this could actually be a new person for you guys. Uh, we'll do the romantic angel cards. Um, to figure that out, but right now I'm just doing the reading for November. So in November, whatever you've been focusing on, you are manifesting. You are manifesting big, and you know, and that's what also this moon represents. It's also the things that are that are gonna come, things that, good things that are gonna come to you, and you're not aware of. It's gonna transform your life, you know. 
Oh, I didn't even even I didn't even bother looking at the bottom. The three bottom of the deck. The four of wands, judgment, and lovers. So this is telling me what's gonna happen. What what you're not seeing is for birth, is that this person's trying to manifest you back so they can have a heart to heart conversation with you. Because they they love you. They really do. And they want this to work. The judgment's right here. They do want to reconcile with you. They want victory. They want to offer you everything that, that they never had offered you before. Or, mm, I don't know. This is very inter interesting reading. All right, let's see what the blockage is for this person. Why is this person doing all this doing right now? Trying to connect to the person that you're watching this video for. What is the blockages? Oh, yeah, they're taking, look. They're taking a rest. Like, this person's really trying to, and this is a, this is the second four, number four that came out, so i let you know. So, this person's really trying to strategize a plan. Um, they're really trying to figure out what is the best angle because they know that you're hurting. They're hurting too. I mean, look at this person's comfortable sleeping with thorns in a in a in a bird's nest. That's not comfortable. Let's be honest. That ain't shit. That ain't comfortable at all. So let's see what else is blocking this connection. So the two blockages is that this person is taking the time to really analyze the situation because they want to make a they want to finally make a right decision. OK, I don't think this person's ever made a right decision in their whole life, whoever you're dealing with. Um, the Knight of, yeah, because the Knight of Cups, this, per, oh my, oh Jesus, yeah, this person, if you think this person, this person's relentless, so even if you don't take this person back, this person's not going to take no for an answer, I'm just letting you know right now, don't tell me, ask me why I know, I just know, this person is truly, truly, and you know what, now that I'm connected to that, now, yeah, so, November is going to be an interesting month, so, you could be dealing with a new person. You could be also talking to someone new and giving someone else a chance. And while you do that, this person comes back and just sweeps you off your feet. And then you're like, damn, I got to decide. Because remember, the first card that came out was the Two of Pentacles. So, okay, that's not your card. <laughs> yeah, um, a card came out and it wasn't sensing that it was you because I can sense. I can sense what's going on. So, I'm going to do this a couple shuffles. So I can get get this going because I don't want to. I think I'm thinking of connecting to my energy. So trying to focus on your energy. Spirit, spirits, let me connect to the Virgos. Let us see what romantic angel oracle needs to tell you guys. Let us ha let's see what's happening. Um, honestly, if you do want this person back, um, they're coming back. Regardless whether you want this person or not, I think you guys need some kind of closure. So let's see. Spirits, let me know what message the verbals need to know. Okay. So, yeah. So the message I'm getting, I'm getting two separate messages, but like I said, this is general, so we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. So it's time to really take back your control. And remember, this is also... This could be all, because I'm doing two different months. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to do more cards because honestly, there's a lot more messages that want to come out. But for this, for October, I feel like you wanted to get a chance to really free yourself. Because it's time to take back control of your life. You know, I feel like you were secluded or you were in like some kind of box. And that's the thing too, is that I felt like there was a lot of other people involved in your situation that you weren't aware of. So like... It's, it's really trying to recapture yourself, you know, allowing yourself to experience what it meant to be a child or have fun, you know, playfulness. You know? All right. You know, I've, and, and it, this also can also be about healing um, wounds with other people. That's what the rebirth is. I feel like you also need to... So there was a lot of damage that came between this relationship among your friends. So I feel like it's also trying to rebuild um, relationships. You know, rela I say relationships because re friendship is like a relationship. You know, it's two people. Sibling, sibling love is two people. Parent and a sibling, that's relationship. Like, 
I'm tired of saying it. Just get to the point. So for this month, November, because that was October. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So I, I, okay, <laughs> you're gonna laugh. So the flirt card came out. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So yeah, you're really putting yourself out there and you're flirting and you're attracting a lot of people, a lot of attention in the month of November. And then the reconciliation is coming too. Heart to heart conversation. Very soon, mm -hmm. Linda, very, very soon. All right, let's see what this person has to say to you. Um, Normally, I don't use these cards unless um, I'm sensing some regret or if it needs to play out. But these are hidden oracle truth deck. I'm going to shuffle it a couple times so I can get the energy of this reading. Because honestly, man, Virgo, you're getting a lot of juice. You're getting a lot of just, just saying. I'm telling you, Virgos, this... October may not be the month for you. I mean, even though it's the end of October. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's why they want me to do it later. <laughs> They're like, damn, this the, 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 this itch is getting the shit thrown in them. Hurricane Katrina coming back again. <laughs> you know? And I do a lot of... I, I, I'm, a, I'm a jokester. Um, I like to laugh. I'm, you know, it's just me. If you actually hung out with me, you have a lot of fun. I'm the life of the party. I am the life of the party. Okay. This person has a lot of things to say because they don't want, the words don't want to come out of the, I'm going to show this again. Damn, this person has a lot. Oh, All right. I'm going to say anything until the cards come out. But I feel like this person has a lot of things to say to you. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of the cards, so that's why I'm laughing. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, this person is trying to become... Oh, shit, what just happened? That just... I, what the hell? Okay. All right. All right. All right, Neo. Um... <laughs> This person is trying to become a better person. And honestly, I do see that because I feel like this person also left you. So if this person left you on red, and you know what I mean when I say that, I feel like they did that not intentionally to hurt you. I think they did because there's a lot of things going on in their life. Maybe they didn't tell you. And that's the thing about this hard conversation. I feel like this person didn't intentionally do this on purpose for some of you, other people. The asshole, the asshole. Um, I left you before you can leave me. Honestly, yeah, they did. I think they were sensing that they messed up. I know I messed up everything. They messed up everything. Um, and I think this person tells this to themselves. But honestly, they do react whenever they mention your name. So that's what I'm telling you. I sense these energy. And so even though I feel like this is their ego or the ego talking to them saying, I don't react when people mention you. They do. They just try not to show it. Um, this person is afraid of you. <laughs> um, they're afraid of feeling your wrath. And that's what the thing in the not today card is. It's like, this person's afraid to talk to you. So this person could be also avoiding conversation. Or you, just, you could have blocked this person. And they don't even realize that you blocked them. But this person loves you unconditionally. That is the honest truth. This person wouldn't be doing all this stuff if they didn't love you. And the last message is, we will be together again. So, I hope you guys like this reading. Enjoy the setup. Um, this is your tarot reading. Virgos, my dudes and dudettes. You're reading for the month of the ending month of October. Some of this stuff probably already happened, but also November. Because I feel like there's a lot of synocracies. And like I said, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. If you guys like this setup or you, you enjoy it, let me know in the comments. And if you feel that you're going to receive some abundance this month and next month, claim it. Comment. Like the video. 
And if you like what I do, man, just subscribe. Subscribe. You know, you're helping you're helping me out. You know, I'm trying to put myself out there more. Um, I do have TikToks. I do TikTok videos. Um, I leave the TikTok, um, my socials my, right there. Um, yes, claim this reading if this is your reading. Um, like I said, not all the messages are for everyone, but for this consensus of the Virgos for the month of October and November, the person loves you. They want to talk to you. They really do. Cut the bullshit. Get to the heart of the matter. Because I, what I'm getting from all these cards is that there's there's a lot of chemistry. And this could have been chemistry that's been built up for a long time. So, I, honestly, I would hear some people out. I know they made you angry, made you upset. But, you know, you don't want to turn into a what-if situation. Those are the worst. I hate those. But, sweet message, Virgo. Love y'all. Be safe. Have a good day. My bashes. Bad bashes.